What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, this feels weird. I haven't uploaded a video for almost a year. 28th of October was the last video I uploaded when I got my uh, M3. Um, I just thought I'd drop a video. I've got a couple of hours spare today, so I um, figured I'd just update everybody. I had loads of messages, which is a bit weird, but pleasant, just asking where I was and when I was uploading again, and I thought I figured I'd give you all a, an update, so uh, I'll see if I can remember how to edit these and stick an intro in somehow, and um, I'll tell you what I've been up to. <laughs> So, what have I been doing? Um, I've just been busy, if I'm honest with you. I think, so I started this YouTube channel in uh, the beginning of lockdown as a bit of a COVID project. See, I've even forgot to turn phones on silent when I'm filming. Yeah, it's a bit of a COVID project. Um, and uh, I had a bit more time then, but as we started to come out of COVID and I've spent less time in my office and more time out and about doing my real job um, in the proper office, uh, I travel to London a lot, uh, I, I, blah, 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 you don't need to know all that crap, but I've got like three kids as well, as you know, or some of you do know, and I just haven't had time, simply haven't had time, and I, um, uh, I've i sort of picked up another interest as well in, uh, in dogs, I've been training my dogs for a while, so... I don't know what I'm going to do with the YouTube channel, really. I might make it a dog channel. I'm not sure. I've still been running the bikes. I'll give you a bit of a garage tour. I've still got the Panigale. That's never leaving. Um, I've actually bought a Multistrada. Um, after I did that review uh, back in... When did I do that? August last year, 22. I was so impressed by the Multistrada. And I was getting a bit fed up with track days, if I'm honest. Just fed up with the, the scene more than anything. But like I'd had a few incidents that were not my fault in a row and I was starting to think mm, maybe my lives are running out here with track days for a while so I thought I'd just chill out this year I had no real desire to want to go and do them um, and I wanted to ride that multistrada to be honest and do some longer runs and just you know I've got I live on the edge of the Peak District so I've been doing a bit of that um, multistrada is amazing it's not a bike review you've already seen that but I love it best thing I ever did uh, like I said I got rid of the KTM and the Aprilia to make way for that so that's good um, but yeah, I've been looking after my dog. So when I did the, I think in October when I uploaded the M3 video, I just got Frank, the Rottweiler. I'll show you them in a second. And he was, I think he was, a, he would have been what? I don't know, three, four months old then. So he was tiny. Well, since that video, I started to, uh, oh, well, just to cut back then. So when we got Frank, we realized that as a Rottweiler and as parents of young children, it was important that um, we were responsible uh, and sort of respected what a Rottweiler could be capable of if the, you know, if the mood took them. Uh, and we've sought out some professional dog trainers. Um, so I started to take Frank to um, some dog trainers in Leeds called Enhanced Canine, which I don't know who it is, but some, I remember I saw it, somebody commented on my video. I can't find the comment anymore, but somebody commented and uh, recommended these guys. And like, best thing I ever read on here, so thank you, whoever that was, give me a shout if you can, if you see this video. But yeah, somebody commented to go to Enhanced Canine at Leeds. So I started to take Frank there, just more of a, let's get him under control um not so much to do the protection dog side of things which is what we have been doing lately and that's what they kind of specialize in i guess um but it was more just to make sure he was under control make sure we could handle him make sure his aggression was channeled um and it, it, it was just such a rewarding experience teaching him the protection side of things uh and and just bringing him on as a quite a stubborn independent dog as a male rottweiler and he's 50 kilograms now so he takes a bit of handling, but to, to be able to, not control, but to be able to um, to have a dog like that obedient was just like, so rewarding. Then we ended up getting another dog um, because <laughs> I kind of sold Frank to the family and the kids as we were going to get this lovely cuddly puppy. And Frank's just not like that. He's lovely and he, he's just the best dog ever around the family. And we, you know, he lives in the house with us and he's created, but... He, he he's always playing with the kids and stuff but he's very much on Frank's time he doesn't like being you know he's not a lap dog basically so the kids uh, and the wife got Arnie who's our Frenchie so we got a French bulldog he's basically um, Amber's little my middle daughter's little plaything really um, but he's great he's a lovely dog and then we also got recently, um, I got the opportunity to buy uh, a puppy from Ambassador Protection Dogs who are a big um, 
protection dog breeder down near Devon, and they had a litter of German Shepherds, which is a dog that I'd always wanted. And as a, as I developed with a protection dog work with Frank, it was you know I really enjoyed it. Uh, but it was clear that Frank was always going to be a bit of a blunt instrument, um, and you know making him a protection dog was never the goal. It was just to make him as best as he could be. Um, but I wanted a dog that we could potentially train to be, you know, a, a, a top class protection dog. As it happened, uh, Ambassador had a litter with, uh, I think the father of, of the litter had got world champion bloodlines. The mother, I think, also had world champion bloodlines. But the, suffice it to say that the puppies were coming from good stock. Um, so I took the opportunity and got winter at eight weeks with every intention to try our best with Leeds and some other trainers, the enhanced canine people at Leeds and some other trainers to make her a protection dog as well. So I'll stick some videos in now just so you can see what we've been up to with that. Um, yeah, have a look at these. Watch him. Hold him in, sir. Hold him. Really pulling Hold. Yes, yeah, yeah, good girl, Winter, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch him. Good girl, Winter, watch him. Watch him. Hold him, yes, yeah, good girl. Hold him, Winter. Hold him. Good girl, Winter, hold him. Hold him, good girl. Hold him. Yes, good girl, hold him. Good girl, Winter. Good girl. Yes. Good girl, Winter, hold. Yes. Yes. Good girl. Hey, hold. Yes, good girl. Good. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. Good boy, mate. Watch him, Frank. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Frank. Good boy. Good lad. So excuse the quality on some of them. My my son comes with me and fills them and I tried to get him to use the big camera once and it, it was just all over the place. He filmed about an hour's worth of content and I managed to scrabble together a two minute video out of it just because he was filming the bloody wall and floor and everything. Um, so yeah, so I've been, to be honest, like I've been really into training the dogs and sort of less so the motorbikes. The motorbikes have taken a bit of a step back into a just a you know, something I do for pleasure every now and again, not something I'm doing as a hobby. And I know a lot of you like the bike reviews, and I like doing them. It's just, they take so much time, and I just don't have that at the moment. Um, 
like imagine I have to I have to reach out to the bike dealer, make a date, arrange it. That means I can't do what I need to do for work, which at the minute is just not possible. Then I have to go to, over to the bike dealer, film the bike for at least half a day really to get an, any sort of good footage. Then get bike, by the time I'm back, basically all day's gone, sit down and upload the footage. If I really push myself, I could edit that video that night. Um, but really it's a two day job to do a bike review and I just don't have that time. Um, so, you know, I might do the odd one of those. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. But I'll take you down to the garage. I'll, I'll let you have a look. Uh, so like I said, I've still got the Panny uh, double Ducatis now. I've also got rid of the M3. That's another update. But I'll show you what I've got there. I'll, I'll probably talk about that in another video. But I had to buy a truck to fit all three dogs in. <laughs> I was gutted to get rid of the M3. So I've started on a project of modifying my truck to, you know, at least make it a bit more fun than a, a standard one. So yeah, let me show you down at the garage and uh, uh, and just give you a bit of an update so there. Yeah, still got the Panigale. Gali. There you go. I think I've probably ridden that about four times this year. And this is the Multi. So as I was saying, I bought the Multi Strada following that video that I made on it. I was so impressed with it. I just ended up getting rid of the KTM and the uh, Aprilia track bike uh, and bought a Multi Strada. And I absolutely love it. Uh, to be honest, I've been out on this loads this year. I couldn't think of a better bike. Um, I've been up the Peak District and done some longer runs. It's just so comfy. You can literally do everything on it. That I love, but that is uh, probably the best daily bike, if you like, for want of a better expression, that you can buy. But anyway, I'm not doing a bike review today. You've already seen that. These are dogs. Mentioned before, you've seen Frank before, but he was very much smaller. Now he's a 50 kilogram tank. That's Winter, my five and a half month old Shepherd. She's gonna be the superstar of the family. Uh, she's doing great in protection work and the early stuff that we're doing with her. And that's Arnie. <laughs> Arnie is a lost cause, bless him. He's our little Frenchie. He's basically my dog's little, uh, my daughter's little uh, cuddle buddy. So yeah, so those are the dogs, those are the bikes. I'll tell you what I will do though. I'm not going to show you fully yet because I've not finished it, but something out the garage door. Hey, here. Come here. So that's what I swapped the M3 for. That's my truck. I'll do a video on this at another point, but I ended up having to buy a truck um, because I needed to fit all the dogs in the back of it, basically. Um, so I've started to modify it, but it's going in on Friday to be fully modified big wheel arches, spacers, big light bar on the top, loads of cool stuff. So I'll do a video when that's finished, but uh, yeah. So that's the garage update. Yeah, so that's it really. That's the update of the garage. I'll talk about the truck for anyone who cares. Another point, that's quite interesting. I've modified that quite a lot, or will have. It's going in on Friday for some stuff doing. Doing a load more stuff with the dogs. Winter's doing amazing. I think she's gonna be a real good protection dog. So I'll give you updates as we go on that. And I'll, I'll still make the odd video on bikes. I'm not gonna upload as, as often as I did. Um, but, you know, I just got the itch to make a video and do an update, so um, so there you go. So those of you who stuck around and any new subscribers, of which there are loads actually, weirdly, uh, thanks. Sorry I've not uploaded much. I'll try and do better. Um, yeah, thanks for all your comments. Thanks for sticking around. I hope that's um, a bit of an update for you at least and something to watch. And uh, yeah, see you soon. Thanks. Oh, my God.